So zones in many ways might be the future of transportation and delivering stuff and doing a bunch of tasks around it and have the similar robots. But the more we use them, the more energy they consume. So this whole talk I'm about to, to give it's just little ideas I have here and there for increasing the energy efficiency of a whole system. My first idea is to use swarms of drones in a way similar to like you might see like a geese flying all together or parts of certain fishes and animals. And how this can um, increase efficiency if done well is that it can make the whole thing more aerodynamic in that the first thing, if there's wind or something hitting it, it picks up the wind and makes everything else following you behind it not have the same vortices or wind disruptions. Behind an object, there actually is a little bit of air missing because air needs to come back in to go around the object. It gets put up by the and when an object is going through air, it splits up the air, and air comes back and recirculates. This creates a little suction that can pull something along behind it and make this thing behind it have less aerodynamic drag. This other, also you can create low and high pressure zones behind objects like the wings that can increase lift. And there's always other factors. So by working together as a swarm, you might be able to lower amount of energy used. And this is also have been already applied to real life fighter jets, race car drivers use this at once, and more, and maybe even increase speed. Another thing that a drone swarm could do is that you might be able to use less power for navigation, actually, because one, per, one drone computes all the navigation for all the drones, it saves you power there, or you don't use all the sensors all the time to the full maximum because you have mobile eyes on it. Another thing that could be done is we could use drones that have some detection and understanding of wind, natural phenomenon, to help them reduce the amount of energy they consume. Maybe the wind pushes them, maybe the wind increases their lift. It can also look at other ones, maybe it knows when it's bad to avoid bad weather. Maybe it has wind sensors that can predict it wind because it knows how the wind flows through buildings and environments. Certain local environments have certain different types of winds, such as the ground might heat up very fast in certain places, so roads and stuff it might create more of a draft, or drafts near the ocean, or places to avoid that are highly windy. Another effect that might help is something called the ground effect. And the ground effect for a flying cone it's very simple. It is that near the ground, but this is only near the ground, air can get forced under an object. And that forced air under an object creates an air cushion that pushes the object up, creating more lift. Now, there is some problems with this effect. The fact is that it only works well. It only works well if the train is not too uneven and it can handle rougher train. Train, but only it can only handle that rougher train if the if it's big enough and so on and so on. And it has to fly close to the ground, which might lead problems in some areas. But in a very small cases, it might lead to significant energy savings. So it might be something worthwhile to look into. Another one is to have drones that can change modes. And by having a drone that can change modes, let's say it has a mode that it uses wheels instead of flying or something like that, or then it has airplane wings instead of rotary blades lifting it, it might be able to save energy depending on trip, and it might modify for different trips depending on the speed or something it needs, or the surroundings. Another idea is to have a drone that has different schedules, that it schedules it to fly more efficiently when it's stuff, there's less traffic or something, so it can take a more efficient route or 
as it seems noseless. Looks at the weather. So it doesn't fly in bad weather or flies in optimal weather or moves in the optimal weather if it's around him. Maybe it has, um, maybe it looks at the schedule so it picks up more stuff all at once. So it wastes less trips. Another thing it could do is it could modify its own speed. By modifying the speed of the drone, the drone would never, um, would con conserve energy because like slower speeds, not always are they more efficient, but faster speeds maybe has to do less trips or can get something done with it. Or faster speeds might be more efficient if it's a particularly good condition that may be over in a little while. So if it's a particularly good windy condition, it might fly extra fast to take advantage fully of that best condition and get its job all done in that time period. Another idea is to have drones that can somewhat transform. An example of this would be that they can deattach and reattach batteries depending on how long they have to fly. And batteries is additional weight, making the whole thing less efficient because it has to carry that weight. So if it can drop off the amount of batteries or something it has or other stuff, it might be able to be more efficient. Another idea that's very, very similar to all of this is it could hit rides onto other drones. And I went to spell that with an I. I, by, I spelled it with a U, that was weird. Um, it can hit rides on other drones, or it can hit rides on cars or moving vehicles or trains even, and that way save some energy right there. Another one is um, you could have it use less batteries in some ways, but maybe having the whole thing charge as it's flying or moving on the ground. Charging through a cable or something, like an Amtrak thing, if you could figure out how to do that, is very, very efficient or trolley cars. Try, but wirelessly charging, you can use up between 5 to 20 percent, using more like around 10 percent of the energy you use. If you have a efficient, you know, if you have an inefficient one, it could be 30 percent. And that's because um, you have to convert it to radio beams or other ways and convert it back. There's a heating, there's a lining up the sensors and everything. So this will be a very case by case basis where wood sending energy in any form be helpful and energy efficient because you don't have to carry around the batteries. And yeah, another thing you could do is have um, drone pick up spots and drop off spots so they have more regular like routes that can be more easily optimized because there's less parameters you're playing with. But also if everything gathers around in one single spot, a bigger drone could pick them up that's more efficient. Or people could pick them up for the last little leg so it doesn't have to stop as much and only has to stop once. The stopping and starting also is a huge loss of energy. Another thing to point out is that drone tech itself could vastly improve to become more efficient. And here's a, some examples is we've only started recently improving electric engines again because of ironically sports cars even though there's a huge industry beyond that such as this radio motors and axle motors and radio motors have um the magnetic field is perpendicular to the thing one of them has them perpendicular to the thing spinning, the magnetic field, one of them has it parallel to the thing spinning. Well, some people have combined radio and axle motors together, which can increase efficiency dramatically because you less of the magnetic field is wasted by one side or another side, and it's more used to move stuff. Also, both radio and axle motors have pros and cons, and that means they have different routines with the most efficient between torque and speed, and now you can combine it so it's more efficient over a part of the range. Other ones that people have done is that you have looked at magnetic flux and Lorentz force and other magnetic ways of moving stuff, it kind of hybridizes into one motor that's more efficient, so it's less energy loss from all these other mechanisms that move stuff. We've gone better at cooling electric motors and stuff, and making materials that cool off faster so we spend less energy on that. We've gone 
made motors that operate on a bigger range of parameters, so more efficient that way. You have better materials and better construction methods to make them. Also, so you can make better windings and stuff. And the last way I want to talk about making these ships more efficient is that we can make drones that have other uses. And by having other uses, if they're not only delivering items, but they're also killing pests, pollinating stuff, mapping out cities and stuff, we use less energy overall because we have less different equipment doing less different things. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. We really have to sign out. I'm trying to use a thousand subscribers a year, four thousand watch hours. This is really hard for your help. I can get into it. So if you have any of these for future videos, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Again, thank you very much.